Okay, so we got Would You Rather. Let's go for disgusting. Would you rather? Fuck your girlfriend in your mum's body or fuck your mum in your girlfriend's body? Um, fuck, that's a tough one. Fuck your girlfriend in your mum's body. I mean, if you fuck your mum's body, does your mum know about it? Because you could fuck your girlfriend's body and your, your girlfriend... And, and your mum would know that you fucked your girlfriend. So does each one of them know about it? Because, because if I was fucking my mum's body because I wanted to be with my girlfriend, I wouldn't want my mum to know that I'd fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want my mum to know that I fucked her. Uh, but if she's going to find out anyway and know that I fucked her body, I might as well just fuck my girlfriend. Uh, fuck my girlfriend's body. So I think what I'd go for is probably... If she knows... If mum mum knows about it, I'd go for mum's body. If she does... Sorry, if mum doesn't know about it, I'd go for mum's body. Because that would be fine, I think. But if she does know about it, I think I'd go for, for my for a girlfriend for the girlfriend's body. Um, do drugs forever. Uh, become a homeless alcoholic. <sighs> Fucking hell. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess drugs forever. Um, and it wouldn't be forever, would it? It would be until you died on drugs. So you could microdose. Yeah, you could microdose the drugs, you'd still be doing them, but you'd, you'd, you'd have less. you just have less. Like, people microdose stuff all the time. That's, te that's technically them on drugs. What, what kind of drugs as well? That's the thing, like, if we're just talking a bit of weed, which will chill you out and stuff like that, then, you know, not too bad. We're talking steroids, yeah, that's, that's you know, not too bad. Um, but if we're talking, like, you have to take, you have to be taking heroin, every day and a good a good amount of it that you're a heroin addict then probably not probably not but I, I, I think I'll go for the drugs rather than the alcohol because I don't want to be homeless those guys do not look like they're having fun die on a fire, die on a plane definitely got to die on a plane definitely die on a plane because if you die on a word it, means it depends doesn't it like die on a plane uh, like, what is it? Do I, do I go into shock because I'm allergic to peanuts and somebody's bought peanuts on there and now I'm in anaphylaxis? Or are you talking about a plane crash? I, I think if it were a plane crash, yeah, okay, I'd go for a plane crash um, because you're dead on impact, even before then, uh, potentially. But in a fire, nah, you, I think, you know, if you're unlucky enough to, to not be knocked out by the smoke, yeah, and you end up burning alive, that is not a good way to go, so I'd go, I'd go with plane. Um, fuck your crush, fuck your ex. My crush. It's not, it doesn't even bear. Uh, marry my crush now, marry someone better looking in 40 years. It's a good question. My crush now. Well, in 40 years, let's just think about this logically, in 40 years, I'm going to be 70. Fuck it, I'm going to be 70 in 40 years. Um, so, and to marry someone better looking than my crush, I guess that would mean someone younger than me, because my, my crush is going to age with me. Uh, yeah, I think I, I I think I'd probably go for the younger, the younger one have a bit of candy. But then at seventy, am I going to really be fucking? That's the thing. Probably. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I'd like to think so. Um, but you know, you don't know how things change. So, but I I, I think. Oh, it is. I'm going to go for the the marry someone better looking in forty years. Um, 